Hi everyone, welcome back to La Densa Crochets. If you're new to the channel, you're welcome. Kindly subscribe and join the family. In this video, we're going to be making a kimono. It's a very simple pattern and I hope you're going to enjoy making this. We'll use a 4mm crochet hook, any medium weight yarn, and a pair of scissors done in needle, stitch markers, and measuring tape. Our starting chain is the shoulder to shoulder measurements and we begin with a slip knot. Then you're going to make a chain that is long enough to fit your shoulder to shoulder. And then the chain should be a multiple of five. So I'm going to chain 60. So those are my 60 chains. We're going to measure these to see the length of my shoulder to shoulder. When you're measuring this, you don't stretch. So mine is at about 15 inches, but when you work the first row, it's going to stretch out up to 17. It's going to increase by almost 2 inches. So that's the starting chain. If you want your, your whatever, your kimono a bit wider, you can do a few more rows, a few more stitches or a few more chains like up to 70 then to begin row one chain uh chain three more while holding the first stitch or the last chain that you've just done hold it and chain three more so one two and three and that chain will act as our first double crochet and that increases our stitches to 61 then yarn over put your hook through the chain that you're holding yarn over pull through grab a loop then yarn over pull through two then yarn over pull through two that's our second double crochet to do the third one you're going to yarn over put your hook into the next chain yarn over and grab a loop then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the remaining two then we're going to place one double crochet into every stitch or into every chain till we get to the end of the chain at the end of this chain or at the end of row one i'll have a total of 61 double crochets if you started with 65 you should have a total of 66 if you started with 70 you should have a total of 71 so just go on place one double crochet into every chain So that's the end of row one we're going to chain three to begin row two then turn the chain three is going to act as our first double crochet and therefore we're not going to work a stitch in this first stitch we're going to skip over to the second stitch and do a double crochet into that stitch then we're going to chain one then go back into that stitch with another double crochet to create a v stitch like that then yarn over skip two stitches one two into the third one do a v stitch that is a double crochet chain one another double crochet into the same stitch then yarn over skip two one two into the third one do a double crochet v stitch that is double crochet chain one double crochet yarn over skip two into the third double crochet chain one go back into the same stitch with a double crochet
So this is what we're going to repeat to the end of row two. At the end, we are going to have two stitches remaining, and so we're going to work a double crochet into the chain three stitch that we started with right here. So just skip this and work a double crochet into that chain three stitch. And that's the end of row two. We chain three and turn to begin row three. That's our first double crochet. Now we're going to be working into the chain one stitches or into the V stitches. So just go right here with a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then skip to the next one, do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then repeat to the end. Just work where you place the chains, place a V stitch right there. And then repeat to the end. So once you've placed your last V stitch, you're going to do the last double crochet into the chain three stitch that you started with, row two. So right here, you'll have your last double crochet. And that's the end of row three. This is what you should have by the end of row three. Row four, chain three, and turn. Now row four is the same as row three, and all the other rows from this point will be just row three repeat. So after chaining three, you'll go into the V stitch and place another V stitch there. And then repeat to the end. At the end, you should have a double crochet. So you're going to go on repeat row three until you have the full length of the kimono that you're working. When you're measuring the length, you do not stretch. So measure your length without stretching. I'll work my kimono till I get my design. When you're done with your back panel, do not cut off the yarn because we're going to continue without cutting it off. So just work the full length of your kimono and then I'll meet you at the end. I have the back panel of my kimono ready and I've done a total of 70 rows without counting the double crochet row that I started with. And this, we're going to measure the length. Remember, you're measuring the length without stretching. So, beginning from here. The full length of my kimono is 38 so if you want a length that is longer you can go you can continue working more rows now we're ready to work the front panels and to do that we work them remember we're not cutting off the yarn at this point so what you need to do is measure out your your shoulder to shoulder length i increased mine to to it's getting me to 19 i'd started with 15 but then I went on and increased, added some more rows so that it can be a bit wider. So I'm at 19. You're measuring this also without stretching. Then you're going to take the 19 that you're going to get. If it's 15, you'll take 15 minus 4, and that will be 11. Then mine, I'm taking 19 minus 4, which is 15. Then after that, you'll take 15 divided by 2. So 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. And 7.5 is this point right here for me. So I'll just mark that point. Measuring from the point where 
I've just finished working the back panel. So I'm going to measure the 7.5 and mark that point. Then you'll also need to measure 7.5 on the other side. So if your shoulder to shoulder was 15, you'll take 15 minus 4, that will be 14. 14 divided by 15 minus 4 is 11. 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. .5. So you're going to measure 5.5 .5 from this side and 5.5 .5 on the other side. Now instead of measuring, I'll just count the number of V stitches that I have from this end. So that's one. So 10 V stitches and then I'll still count 10 V stitches from this other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and then mark that point. So now we're going to work the front panels. The first one will be from this point to the stitch marker. The next one will be from the stitch marker to the end. So this is the first row of the front panel. Start by chaining three, then turn your work and work the V stitches, same way we've been doing, till you get to the stitch marker or till you get to the V stitch before the stitch marker. So right there in the at the point where we have the stitch marker we're just going to pull it out and then at that point we'll just place one double crochet just one double crochet like that then that's our row one done you're going to chain three turn your work then work row two in the v stitches and end with a double crochet So now place a double crochet in the chain three that we started with the previous row. Double crochet, then chain three to begin the next row. Turn your work and keep going now. Um, in row two, I'm going to work a total of 70 rows with the V stitch. So if you did 50, you're going to do 50 in the front part. If you did 70, you'll do 70. If you did 60, you'll do 60 in the front part. So just keep repeating the rows. This is a very simple pattern, so keep repeating till you get the full length. So now I'm done with the 70 rows. And done with one of the front panels, as you can see, right here. So the next thing that I'm going to do is this double crochet row at the end. And to do that row, you're going to chain three, turn your work. Now we're just going to place one double crochet into every stitch. So that first double crochet is in the first stitch. We're not going to work in the gap. We're going to work on the double crochet, this one right here. So do a double crochet. Then do a double crochet into the chain one stitch, a double crochet on top of the next double crochet. Then the next double crochet gets a double crochet, the chain one stitch gets a double crochet, and then the double crochet gets a double crochet. So just place one double crochet into every stitch to the end. So 
So at the end, we're going to have a double crochet onto the chain three stitch from the previous row. So double crochet, chain one, and cut off the yarn at that point. After we're done with that side, we're going to move over to the other side. So now you have this. And for the for the other one, for the other panel in the front, we're going to start at the stitch marker. So just grab your yarn, do a slip knot to reattach. Then into this gap where we have the stitch marker, put your hook through and slip stitch. Slip stitch, then chain three. That's going to be our first double crochet. Then we're going to skip over to the next chain one gap and do a V stitch into that gap. Chain one, double crochet. Then a V stitch into the next V stitch. A V stitch into the next one. And do a V stitch all the way through till you get to the end. At the end, you're going to do a double crochet into the chain stitch. So at the end, place your double crochet onto the chain three, chain three, and turn to begin row two. Then we're just going to repeat what we've done with the other side for a total of 70 rows. And then the last row will be a double crochet row. I'll go ahead and finish this side. And then when I'm done, I'll be back to show you how to join the, the panels on the sides. So this is after the two front panels are done and now we're going to join the sides but before then we need to measure out the armhole so i'm going to measure eight inches on each of the sides so right here the eight inches and then i'll also measure eight inches on the other side Then I'll just count the the number of rows that have given me the eight. You're measuring without stretching, remember that? So I'll count the number of rows from from the shoulder to this part and then count the same number of rows on the panel that is at the bottom or on the bottom panel. So from from this row right here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And 14 so 14 rows so I'll also count 14 rows in the back panel so it starts starts from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen so join these two together now when I'm joining I'll join from the bottom from the bottom part all the way to where the stitch marker is and then I'll do the same thing on the other side now I'm going to join with single crochets beginning from the row at the bottom so just grab the yarn and reattach on the very first or on the bottom row right here put the hook through grab the yarn and chain one so in that very first double crochet row we're going to place two single crochets and 
this goes to the other side to connect the two panels together so one single crochet and a second single crochet then that will take us to the next double crochet to the next double crochet row and in that other one in in the next one you place two single crochets we move on to the next double crochet row and the one on the other side and place place two single crochets then the next row and the other one on the other side two single crochets and this is what we're going to repeat till we get to where the stitch marker is So after joining, this is what you have on the right side. So I'll just keep going, joining the two panels together. So I'll just place one single crochet into the double crochet where we have the stitch marker then chain one and cut off the end we're going to weave that end in and this side is joined so this is the right side of the kimono and this is the wrong side so now I'm going to move to the other side and do the same thing. Then I'll be back once I have the other two ends joined. I'm done attaching both sides. And we have the armholes in place. And at this point, the kimono is ready. You can wear it like that or you can do an edging all the way around this part. I feel like I could work with this the way it is, but if you want, you can do the edging, whereby you're going to begin at the bottom, right here, in the first row. You're going to put your hook through and the yarn and pull it, pull the yarn through that first row. Then chain one. And then go back into that row with two single crochets. Then place two single crochets into the next row. I'm working over the ends. Two single crochets into the next row. Two single crochets in the row that follows. And into the next one. And into all the rows. Then you're going to work like this all the way around. When you get to the corners, you're going to skip the stitch at the corner. Do not work the stitch at the corner. So that means if you work two single crochets in this last row, you'll not work in this stitch. You'll skip over to the next one. Then in the other corner, you'll also skip a stitch. And then you're going to work all the way around to the bottom part on the other side. Alternatively, you can leave your kimono like that and it's ready to be worn. So if you've enjoyed the tutorial, kindly leave a like, a comment, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and see you in the next tutorial.